Right, guys, now it's very important to know uh, trigonometric identities before we can go ahead differentiating inverse trigonometric functions using substitution of trigonometric functions. All right, now I can tell you that every problem of inverse trigonometric function. Uh, I mean, basically, differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions are based on the identities from trigonometry. So let's take one identity at a time and see how they can make questions out of this, all right? and what are the techniques and how to solve these questions. All right. So first thing uh, we need to know into uh, trigonometric functions is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one. I'm taking one identity at a time, and let's see how they form questions and how to solve them both okay there's a very interesting trick okay in every video i'll just take one identity and we'll discuss on it please watch this carefully it is not learned like this in any textbooks or any other notes all right so it's a different strategy of learning it let's get to this now this is the first formula you have right now can i separate sine theta from this i can write sine square theta is actually one minus cos square theta Right, that's fine. So can I write sine theta as uh, root of one minus cos squared theta? Yes, I can. Now, can I send sine on the other side? The so theta becomes what? Sine inverse of root of one minus cos squared theta. Okay, this is something which I got from this identity. All right. Now, if they ask you a question which says differentiate, differentiate y is equal to sine inverse of root of one minus x squared okay look at this right look at this i have sine inverse function right and a root and one minus cos squared theta all right so this came up with this formula right now if this is my question where i have sine inverse and i have to substitute something to the inside guy and what is there in my mind while i'm substituting now anything which is inside this bracket should become sine so that i can cancel the sine inverse with that look at this if you have sine inverse of sine theta i can cancel these two guys and the answer is theta all right this, this, this is the main intention of uh, substitution that whatever is that i'm substituting using trigonometry that should give me something like sine theta here so that the sine theta and the sine inverse cancels out to give you only theta that's the main frame of thinking in this particular problem so according to this how can i make this whole thing as sine if you come back to this formula and see that square root of one minus cos squared theta is sine theta or sine squared theta and sine squared comes out of the square root as sine theta so can i simply guess that if x is cos theta so what happened to this guy it comes sine inverse of root of 1 minus cos squared theta and this guy eventually would become what sine inverse of root of 1 minus cos squared is what sine squared theta from where is this it is from here sine squared is 1 minus cos squared okay so then what happens here sine inverse of then the root and the square will cancel to give you sine theta very simple and now I can cancel sine inverse and sine I get is theta so this is what I'm supposed to differentiate should I differentiate theta not exactly what I'm supposed to differentiate is x. The question was y and x, right? So the question was y here and x here. So I'm supposed to find dy by dx. And what is theta? So theta is what I took, right? So I took it here. So can I find theta from this guy? If x is cos theta, can I put cos on the other side? Yes. Then cos inverse of x is theta. So can I use this theta here back? Yes. So what happens? So my question becomes y is equal to theta, and theta can be written as cos inverse of x and can i differentiate this now dy by dx would be minus one by root of one minus x squared this is one of the simple formulas of which we learned in the starting so what happened here is i got a question like sine inverse of one minus x squared so now i got to put something with this x squared so that this whole thing becomes simply sine theta so that i can cancel the sine and the sine inverse and differentiate theta and who's theta in terms of x i can find this guy by the substitution i have so it's one of the problems is this now can they ask you another problem based on the same formula yes if at all the question was uh, let's say y is equal to cos inverse of root of one minus x squared uh, in this case i had sine inverse and in this case i have cos inverse so the whole idea of the problem is this has to become cos theta when can this look like cos theta? 1 minus what is cos theta? We know from this formula, right? Again, if I just 
try putting sine squared on the other side, I get cos squared theta is what? 1 minus sine squared theta, yes? Right? So from here, if I have to cos, find cos theta, cos theta is what? Root of 1 minus sine squared theta. See, uh, this is what I need, right? This is what I need. Cos theta can be written as root of 1 minus sine squared theta. So can I take this x as sine theta? and see what happens. So instead of x, I'll write sine theta. That becomes sine squared theta. That is what I have, cos inverse of root of 1 minus sine squared theta. So why did I take only sine squared theta? Because 1 minus sine squared is cos squared theta. And why am I looking for that? So that I can cancel this cos inverse and cos. So what happens here? Cos inverse of, I can write this as cos theta and I can see that cos and cos, cos inverse and cos will cancel to give you theta. Now, who is theta back? Can I differentiate theta? Not exactly. I need to convert theta back in terms of x. How will I do that? I'll go back to my substitution. Let's do it here in this space. So I know that theta sin, x is sine theta. So who's, uh, let's say x is sine theta. Can I put sine on this side? Then it becomes sine inverse of x. Is theta, I got the value of theta as sine inverse of x. Can I put it here? So y is equal to sine inverse of x. Can I differentiate this guy? So dy by dx would be 1 by root of 1 minus. This is a simple formula we learned. Now we understand from one formula, that is uh, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. They can make only two types of questions. Which says y is equal to sine inverse of root of 1 minus x squared or y is equal to cos inverse of root of 1 minus x squared. Can they complicate it a little more? There is possibly. Right, let's uh, go ahead and see. I'll erase this guy. What if my question uh, was something like y is equal to sine inverse of root of 1 minus, let's say, e bar x the whole squared. Now, this doesn't look like a sine squared plus cos squared. Right, I, I can't use this guy. What is this? 1 minus e power x whole squared. Do you have any formula like this in your basic trigonometry? No, we don't. But still, but still what I can do is, if at all I take this guy, e power x as cos theta, see what happens. It looks like sine inverse of root of 1 minus cos squared theta. Very simple. Or cos theta whole squared. Which is something but cos squared theta. Now, now can I write 1 minus cos squared theta as sine squared? Yes, I can. So it goes like sine inverse of root of 1 minus cos squared theta can be written as sine squared theta and I can see square root goes sine inverse of sine theta is what I have. Now I can cancel this guy's theta is back again. Now who's theta? Theta is not this time cos inverse of x or something like that but I should find theta from the substitution I did. So what is the substitution I have here? I do e power x as cos theta then who's theta? Put cos on the other side that is cos inverse of not x but e power x is equal to theta. Can I use this theta here? Here. Let me do it here. So I can say that uh, y is equal to theta is what I had and theta is nothing but y is cos inverse of e power x. Now can I differentiate this guy? There's a very simple chain here, the first chain, all right? Only two chains, cos inverse and e power x. What happens here? How do you differentiate cos inverse? Minus one by root of one minus whatever is inside whole squared. e power x whole squared into d by dx of e power x. And that is it. A minus 1 by root of 1 minus e power x, the whole squared into e power x. Differentiation e power x e power x itself. That's how it works. Okay, can I make a more general formula of this guy in substitution? Let's check it out. Okay, anything which looks like, uh, let's say, y is equal to sine inverse of root of 1 minus e power x. I will not write this time. Let me write a function whole squared. Now, in this case, what I do is I'll write that particular function as cos x. That's it, right? So whatever is inside here, that becomes cos x. So this whole problem is same till here, correct? Till here. In fact, this was my substitution. That function is equal to cos x. So can I write cos inverse here? That is cos inverse of whatever function is theta. So when I differentiate, it goes like this. It goes like this. And I got to differentiate this guy. See, that's all about it. This becomes my general formula. So what am I doing? Let's check. If, let's say, uh, I have sine inverse of root of 1 minus log x, 
So if log a comes here, I'm just taking whatever is inside this guy, log x as cos theta. So I, I can say, write 1 minus cos square theta, which goes like sine square theta. This guy goes off and sine theta, and theta is what I get. But who is theta? See, here, again, what I took was log x was cos theta, so I take cos on the side, the cos inverse of log x is theta, right? So can I write this, guys, cos inverse of log x? Yes. How do you differentiate? How do you differentiate cos inverse? That is minus 1 by root of 1 minus huh, this function, that is log x, the whole square and differentiate log x, yes. So I can write log x here, whole square, and 1 by x is my answer. Very simple, all right? Now, if something else comes here, let's say it is not log x this time, let's say it is tan x. So what should I do? I should take tan x as cos theta. All right? I'm just taking tan x as cos theta. So whatever comes inside this function should become cos theta so that this becomes 1 minus cos square theta. And I can get sine squared inside so that I can cancel sine inverse and sine. So only objective is everything inside this bracket should turn out to be sine theta so that I can cancel sine and sine. Then whatever substitution I took, I can just re-substitute in terms of x and differentiate that. Okay, let's do this problem. So if at all it was cos, or if it was tan here, I take tan x as cos theta, this remains same, this remains same, so I get cos. All right, y is equal to theta. Who's theta? See, let's go back to the substitution. I'm, I'm taking tan x as cos theta. Now, can I find theta? Put cos on the other side. What do you get? I'll get cos inverse of tan x is theta. So instead of theta, I'll write cos inverse of tan x. That is it, yes. And how to differentiate this? That is tan x here. I'm not doing anything. It's a general, simple general format, right? So differentiation of what is inside is tan x. So what is the answer? So these guys will change. I'll have a tan x here, and differentiation of tan x is secant squared x, and that's all about it. So this is a more general format where I, I can uh, use substitution of whatever is inside as cos so that I can make 1 minus cos squared which is sine squared just because I have a sine inverse outside. So what is a more general formula of this guy? Let's see. Right, we'll see what is a more general formula of uh, this function that is y is equal to cos inverse this time and root of 1 minus x squared. Now I'll not take x squared here, I'll just take a function whole squared. See here, the difference between this is a sine inverse is outside and root of 1 minus any function whole squared. I'm using the same thing, but you have cos inverse here, right? Should I use the same substitution? No. Since it's a cos inverse outside, I should get this whole thing as cos. So I will take 1 minus sine squared. So your substitution is whatever function here should become sine theta. That's all about it. If I write y is equal to cos inverse of uh, root of 1 minus this function, I'm taking a sine theta. So 1 minus sine theta, the whole square. So what happens here? y is equal to cos inverse of root of 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. That goes like cos inverse of cos theta. And I am done with theta. So what is y theta? And who's theta? Here is this. Who's uh, theta now? So I, this, I get this theta from basic uh, substitution which I did. Okay, if my function here, alright, so let's say this function was e bar x. So I'll take e bar x as sine theta. So that's how it goes. Then who is theta? I'll give it. So if e bar x is equal to sine theta is my question, then theta would be what? Sine inverse of e bar x would be theta. Now I'll use this theta back in this place and differentiate the same. So let's say y is equal to uh, I have sine inverse of e power x and that's it. So what happens here? 1 by root of 1 minus e power x the whole squared into d by dx of e power x and that's what we have. If I differentiate this I'll get the same answer e power x. So right. Let me write this here. It'll be y is equal to our dy by dx. Here I'm differentiating this dy by dx. Here is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus e power x. Whatever function it was, a whole square, in the difference of the function is e power x itself. Right? Now, what if my question was not e power x, it's something else. Let's take this guy was not e power x, this guy was, let's say, uh, secant x. So I will take secant x as sine theta. So this remains same. 
right so whatever is coming here becomes sine theta so i have cos square theta cos theta is gone and who is theta back again? so i will take this thing was a secant theta or secant x secant x was sine theta so can i find theta from here yes. let's put sine on the other side that becomes sine inverse of secant x a is equal to theta now this is what i require okay i'll substitute my theta back here as well this time i'll take uh, i'll take this guy here i'll take y is equal to theta instead of theta i'll write solving that is sine inverse of secant x and how do you differentiate this guy one by root of one minus whoever is inside sine it's not x you now is secant x whole square into d by dx of secant x all right so the next step is one by root of one minus secant x the whole square into secant x into tan x because differentiating secant x i get this guy so now we understand very clearly that from the first formula of trigonometry that is sine squared plus cos squared is one they can make two types of questions where y is equal to one uh, sine uh, sin inverse of root of one minus any function squared so it can be x squared can be tan squared can whatever it is all right so let me write in more general terms we'll just write how many types they can make questions so i can say that if sine inverse is outside they can make y is equal to sine inverse of a root of one minus x squared here directly x can be as cos theta because one minus cos squared theta will become sine squared theta all right or what they can use is y is equal to write as sine inverse of root of one minus any function whole squared like in function is tan all right so any other function whatever function it is right that's it now i should take what whatever function i get here inside as cos theta and my problem is cancel okay that is first part what if i have a cos inverse oh uh, here let me write here itself what if i have cos inverse outside Okay, so y is equal to let's say a uh, cos inverse of root of one minus x squared. This is the third type. So this guy is the first type. This guy is the second type. Correct. Okay. Third type directly x is uh, so x is sine theta simply because one minus sine squared theta will become cos squared theta. And cos squared theta will come out as cos from the root. I can cancel these two guys. So this can be third type and the fourth type would be y is equal to cos inverse of root of 1 minus uh, any function whole square and that function becomes a uh, sine theta as my substitution and we can solve it. Okay, this is it. This is uh, the simple trick which we use us uh, to solve inverse trigonometric functions or differentiating inverse trigonometric functions using trigonometric functions as substitutions. Right, we'll do a lot of problems based on this one type so that we can get the hang of it in the next video. All right.